Hey, Kansas kids say, hey, we all want to go be BYU. You know, I think Coach kind of hit on the head. We had a chance to really recruit these guys for a full two years. Uh, the day that recruiting started back up after COVID, the first guys we had on campus was Avery Johnson, Wesley Fair, a Will, all came within probably the first three days that recruiting opened up. Even beat some of the guys we were probably recruiting in the 22 class. Uh, just knowing how big that 23 class was, like somebody said earlier, I think that 23 class in the state is probably the biggest class that's been out of Kansas in a long time. With that many guys with that level of offers, might not be seen again. I feel like, you know, each year in Kansas is kind of a roller coaster. You might have a year with 15 guys, you might have a year with 10, I mean, or five even. I mean, you just don't know. So, but we had a really good head start on it. How much did that core of Kansas kids really hit the recruiting trail for you? Uh, I think all those guys grew up together and know each other, especially the ones in Wichita, you know, from Little League basketball on and probably the ones in Kansas City, too. A lot of these guys had ties to Manhattan. Uh, Jordan Allen's uncle went to K-State. Um, Ryan Davis, who's from Arizona, his grandpa's from Smith Center. I know that we hit that the most states we've ever hit ever since 1997 or whatnot, but a lot of these kids have ties back here. You know, Spivey and his dad will both have gone to college in the state of Kansas. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, and that was one thing we kind of hit on with him. So, um, but the Kansas guys, I feel like they're bought in and they know if they stick together that no one can beat them. How loud or, you know, obnoxious, well, not obnoxious, but emotional do you guys get when you land someone like Avery Johnson in the moment you, you find out? I mean, it's, for me, being a Kansas kid, it's the most exciting thing in the world, you know, being here, like I've said a long time ago, I mean, you're a fifth generation Kansas kid and guys buy into what you're selling and, and sticking together and believing in where they're from. You know, we get told everywhere you go, you're from Kansas, you know, and it's not a bad thing. You know, it's, this is our brand, it's awesome. It's a special place with special people. And uh, it's the, they're charismatic, they care, you know, all those things and as they stay together, I mean, they're, they're a special group of guys. The re recruiting services think this is the best class you guys have had in forever. Do you think it's the best class you've assembled since you started here? I think it's the best class for myself, yes. Um, shoot, I don't know, I, I was talking on the, the podcast earlier today with John and them I said I don't know I've had so many titles here I feel like you know this is since I think I took over recruiting maybe 10 years ago that and then probably strictly recruiting once coach Kleiman got here and this would be the best class I think I've been a part of why I don't know I mean I'm based it off your like you said like off of rankings I mean I guess that's what I don't know the rankings don't really matter because look what Felix and Deuce were probably ranked coming out of high school but if you're going off of that then this probably is the best class we've had. Do you feel like you guys have really zeroed in on the type of kid you want for this system and, and the locker room? Yeah, I think definitely the culture is a huge part of what makes this all work. Um, so many of these guys in this class and probably the previous class too come from such great families. I mean, it all starts there too with how they were raised and the culture at home. And there's a lot of guys with unbelievable parents. I mean, terrific. I mean, me and my wife, every time you go out to dinner with somebody, you learn something new about them or something about you want to take over to your own household. And a lot of those people have that. And uh, I think they've raised their kids that way. And when they come here, they understand, you know, that's a structure, you want to work for it. It's not going to be given to you. And um, it's just a great thing to see and be a part of. You coached with John Thapper. So what's it mean to you to kind of sign his son now? You know, John, John's <laughs> awesome. He's so smart. He's coached some great players like Dave Pollock, uh, a bunch of, he's at Georgia for what, 10 years. Um, and he would be working his sons out after camps here when they were, he would put them through the high school camps when they were like in eighth grade. And then after that, they would hit baseball to him for like two hours. And we'd all be leaving and John would still be out there coaching his kids. I mean, his, his son's gonna put his face in the fan. He's a tough kid. Um, much like John, very, well, I would say he's pretty quiet, pretty reserved, but I mean, he's gonna be a hardworking kid. Where did bring the sauce come from? I don't know, we just kind of thought of it, and I think it was kind of like the Legos. We've had some good, uh, last couple of years, we've had some good signing day stuff and a lot of fun, and we got creative people, and I think it's kind of a benefit having a small team. You know, we all kind of throw our opinions and thoughts out there and put together something. I thought that's unique and cool and no one has done yet, so you got to keep trying to stay ahead of the of the curve. Which, uh, which guy that you signed made you sweat the most a little bit in the final hours? I, don't, I mean, all my local guys, but I shouldn't say made sweat. I knew they were in, but, you know, just making sure, you know, took a little while to get Jordan's papers today. I had to text him, get up. You know, that's all it was. It was just wake up and get your papers signed. But, no, uh, 
it was it was a fun day the surprises were awesome you know we had some that i know the people out there didn't know they were coming and they happened and they fell our favor and uh it was a good good signing day how do you keep organized if everybody with eligibility left like seniors super seniors how do you keep track of all that I, I wish snapchat uh <laughs> no, no, i really have broke down excel sheet i mean it's you it's like coach said it's a number game and Honestly, the most important recruit we have is the kids on our roster right now. Those are the most important guys, and, and knowing who we have, kind of who they are, and keeping them around, and just always massaging what, what might happen and what could happen. And Yeah, the numbers are crazy because some guys have extra years because of COVID, some don't. You know? And I think the 20 class or the 21 class really got the bad end of the whole deal because they never got to take an official visit. And then when they got here, all the guys ahead of them got an extra year. So, you know, that's just something that we got to figure out all the way to the end.